We, um, we double down at Mustache on big commerce and Shopify. So even for mid to enterprise level businesses, they've got to move, they've got to move quicker. They've got to test and learn. Probably, I suppose, more skewed towards a similar law in the, in the Shopify and the big commerce. Yeah. With WordPress, you've got WooCommerce. I mean, you want to look at a platform that has basically templates out of the box where mm -hmm. you pick a particular stencil, get up and running really quickly. And I think the consumers out there at the moment are, are I suppose they're a little bit more tolerant um, in the sense um, everyone's, you know, there's the whole thing that we're all in it together. And I think that's translating across businesses. Yeah. SEO is such, a, such an important, um, mm. you know, such an important part of, of um, your strategy that, that people often miss, you know, for especially in this world where we are moving online, the, the, you know, the new normal is that we will do, do a higher majority or a higher percentage of our shopping online. The first thing you need to do is be found, right? Being really clear who you're talking to, who, who you're targeting, what they're searching for, and understanding their consumer journey from the moment, because Google's now your, your, your front door. So for us, um, we're finding that we're quite lucky that with our anti-blue light brand, the book club I wear, oh, that yeah. everybody is focusing on health at the moment and you're looking at more screens. You know, mm. it's harder to turn off your work screen at five o'clock when your work is your house. And so we're finding that that screen time is going up and people are focusing on their like healthcare and self-care. And so we're finding that speaking and educating to our customers about what anti-blue light lenses can do and how they can help you get better sleep and things like that and really talking to the key points of our product is really seeing us soar. What's your advice on bringing human into digital? How do we reverse engineer this and bring people into the digital world? Live chat, if you don't have it, you probably should get it. Um, or, or at least look to optimise it right now um, because it's a, it's a buyer's market. So nice. I think optimising any touch points and I mean, I think there has to be a real focus on increasing the average order value right now um, and, and talking to your, your best customers. We're actually seeing um, conversion on desktop being up so traffic on mobile is still number one you know um kelly what you mentioned on that virtual stylus and, and pete mentioned something i've been working on for a little while is that um that virtual so that video based and mm. it, virtual stylus in the sense of i mean we're not talking vr ar we're actually talking video and what we're doing here is pretty much what we've seen an explosion across the market in the two weeks consumer behavior is getting changed in front of our eyes at the moment um, so yeah, and it's going to stay like that for a while. Um, what the profile of your product is, whether it's perishable, whether it's something that's not perishable, the size of the product, whether it's something that's quite bulky and heavy, um, a carrier or a platform of carriers that connects directly into that platform without any development work. What do we think the future looks like? I think a lot more personalization and customization is going to start to come out of this. I think that will really be a focus. I also think, you know, I know I keep popping on about it, but the education, you know, where is your product coming from? Again, through all of this, I think that augmented reality and, you know, having your virtual try on or having things that can connect a customer without having to be in a physical store, I think is definitely going to be a big focus for us. Um, we are now going to move into a new way of working, um, traveling less, um, more, more connections like this are going to happen in less conferences. So um, yeah, I think the whole um, like virtual stylist and, and even if it is done via Facebook or Zoom. Uh, and I, I agree, Laura, I don't think that for one minute physical is dead. I think it will be redefined and it will have to change. Uh -huh. And I think, you know, the things that you guys are already doing, Shane and Peter specifically in store, which is knowing where your product is at a particular time, all of that stuff, everyone that wants to operate in this new world is going to have to get up to speed with. Mm -hmm. um, I think we're human. We're still going to need connection. We're still going to want to go to a physical place to interact. 
but I think there's going to be a cashless society that is going to be born out of this. So no more queuing, you know, Amazon Go style um, being implemented across shopping centers. I think there'll be virtual malls, which will integrate seamlessly with a physical mall so that you can see what's in store, what's in center at a given point in time. I think there's this will drive forward some of the things we've all as a collective group been talking about for probably about five or six years now. And I think it will just elevate that situation.